So it's the uh, 19th, 19th of March, 2024, another murky day, very murky. The sun is struggling to get through over there, but there's drizzle in the air. What a beautiful start. <laughs> Black thorn in flower down there. <clears throat> Some Roseland just over there. I'm on Pendennis Head at the moment in Falmouth. Good evening, uh, dear followers. Not often I get onto onto the um, the screen like this. Had a few questions on the uh, YouTube channel, my dear subscribers. Thank you very much. One is, how do you stay clean when you live in a van? Which I don't, of course. I live in a car. How do I stay clean when I live in a car or a van? So vans normally have showers or well, you can easily install a shower into a van not into my little car though so how do I stay clean well the obvious answer is I don't I'm just perpetually smelly um, <laughs> another way of answering that question is well there's the sea so um, go swimming every day if you're that way inclined of course people that know me in Ventnor will know that I don't go swimming every day. I struggle to go swimming in the sea in summer, to be honest. In the undercliff, though, there is one really good shower, really good hot shower in a... In a um, I won't say where it is, actually, because everyone in the whole event room and the undercliff will start using it if I say where it is. But, um, yeah, I can use that. Public shower. Um, there are no showers on the beach in uh, Ventnor or the Undercliff unfortunately none that work anyway there are some near the Paddleton Pool whereas in Falmouth where I am now there are showers on the beach they're cold showers I don't use those <laughs> like I said I just stay smelly but um, gym membership is the other the other option for people that can't have a shower actually in their vehicle um, now I'm attached to the university and the university campus has showers and that's what I do every day. I'm also doing some contract work and the office that I go into occasionally has showers for staff who are doing cycling into work or do jogging at lunchtime so they've got showers which are very good. So in terms of having showers I have plenty of options and of course then there's wet wipes but that's a bit gross so I won't go into that. So that's one common question, how do you remain clean? And um, that's basically how I do it on the whole. Another very popular question, slightly strangely, <laughs> is how do you go to the loo? So you, you'll all know about these um, kind of uh, camper type, well, they cassette toilets or something, I can't remember what they call them. Don't have one of those, lots of van lifers have those in their vans and they end up not really using them because they're a bit gross to empty. Um, holiday makers in motorhomes will have those and will use them. I don't. I don't want to go to a campsite to have to empty one of those horrible cassette toilets every few days. So I just use public loos. I'm in a pub at the moment. There are toilets here. A bit gross, but they're usable. Again, up on campus there are loos. There are loos by the beach here. Um, I would say the world is my toilet, but that's a bit gross as well so I won't say that um, yeah so there are plenty of options outside of uh, the car or going to the loo and that's what I do so that's those two questions answered I hope um, so let's move on from the staying clean and uh, how do you have a pee questions um, if you've got any other questions please do leave them in the comments section below and um, do subscribe to the channel I'm thinking of setting up a membership actually. So now, I'm, now I've got over 500 subscribers on YouTube. It means I can set up channel membership. And if I do that, I'll give the channel subscribers so people who actually pay a monthly subscription. I'll do some videos more like this, which is basically question and answer sessions, probably once a month of me actually appearing in front of the camera, which I don't like doing. Um, probably more outside than inside but um 
yeah so tell me what you think about me setting up a channel membership I don't know five pounds a month or something um, it's good good form of um, sustained sort of income um, for me and obviously it's a demonstration that you my dear listeners and viewers and subscribers do actually like watching these videos um, so tell me what you think I haven't decided yet whether to set up a kind of a YouTube channel membership thingy but I can now that I've got over 500 subscribers so let me know and now I'm gonna have some coffee it's about eight o'clock in the evening now uh, watch a few YouTube videos and maybe something on Amazon Prime and then I'm gonna go to bed in the car so have a lovely evening <laughs>